Palace House stables in Newmarket were used almost continuously for the training of racehorses from the days of Charles II right up until 1985, when Bruce Hobbs retired from training after 20 years on the site. Palace Voices was a project funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund and delivered by the National Horse Racing Museum in partnership with Cultural Learning. Adult volunteers worked with an oral historian to record the memories, stories and experiences of people connected to horse racing at Palace House Stables. Horse Play is a short play inspired by the stories of Palace House Stables and the history of horse racing in Newmarket. 52 pupils from All Saints Primary School worked with the Keeper's Daughter Theatre Company and artist Karen Woods. The pupils were split into three groups, each acting a scene in the play. Using the oral history recordings from the Palace Voices project as inspiration, Mark, Alice and Ben from the Keeper's Daughter Theatre Company wrote the play and coached the children. We're a professional theatre company and we sort of exist to try and inspire creativity and to nurture imagination, I guess, in, in, in East Anglian communities. I've been given several audio interviews um, by ex-stable lads. And I've been told to create a play using those uh, interviews. I've created a play uh, which I felt would be interesting and imaginative for young people to, to work on as well as to watch. The children uh, play the actual stable lads from the interviews and some fictional characters which we've created based upon the actual testimony. And they get to travel through time back to the 50s when, when the guys were working. And then they come forward in time and they even go further back to King Charles II when he was here. The end product will be a full-scale production, short play, um, involving 50-odd uh, children with music, live music, uh, acting, dancing, mime, um, puppetry, all sorts of things in there about Palace House Stables and the history of it. Karen worked with the children to produce the painted backdrops and props for the three scenes, which included wings for Terence, a magical horse. This project is the uh, Palace Voices project and it's working with um, the school to create backdrops um, to the play that we're doing. Working from their drawings and ideas and, and leading it into them, um, and then helping them, so it's their drawings, I don't want to be too dicta um, dictatorial, and getting them to draw and to think and to imagine what the stage sets will look like and also working on how we're going to quickly make props that will give um, atmosphere and changes. I'm always amazed. You go into a school, a, um, uh, even at colleges, and people, we're so used, particularly with the internet, to there's my answer, do it, there's my answer. And when someone says to someone what do you think of that or what how can you do that it, it throws people because they're like oh my god I have choice. Rachel Bacon from the school helped the children learn the musical accompaniment which included bells and trumpets. So I've been responsible for the music element of the project so we've had the script and we've worked our way through the script and explored kind of the story that we're trying to do with the children and we've looked at how we can put sound effects and song and music within the actual script. So we've had exciting times exploring the national anthem on various instruments, lots of brass, violins, glockenspiels, um, lots of percussion work on sound effects such as phones ringing and train sounds and rain sound effects. So yeah, it's been really fun. They've loved the music side. Lots of them play instruments out of school, so it's been exciting because they've been able to bring in their instruments. Um, lots of them have taken the initiative to go away and work out how, how the national anthem is played on their instrument and transposed it so we can all play together. Um, very exciting. We had some new instruments delivered yesterday, so they got to play various things on the new glockenspiels and new handbells. So yeah, really excited about it. And it's been a really good opportunity to get everybody together and yeah, just to show their strengths. Being close to Palace House, All Saints Primary School were keen to take part in this legacy project and encourage their pupils to take pride and interest in their town. The children um, have been look at listening to some of the, um, the recordings of memories of ex-stable lads and then they, um, they went to a visit to Palace House to look around and to do some um, 
and to do some drawing and artwork associated with that. And then following on from that, they've had, um, they're in the process of having four workshop-based days which will culminate in a performance and showing, showing all the art and the music and the drama that they've put together in the workshops. We've been going around into groups doing uh, music, art and acting and it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, we've done, in art we've done spray painting yeah, and so some sewing. I like the drama and it's so funny and we get adding like fun bits. I'm young Harry and uh, he's the jockey who leaves and goes to Newmarket. We're both doing horse racing at the start when I pushed Joe off. And, and we're, we're like, we have to be like all scatting on the horse. And um, I'm one of the main stars of the show because I'm the horse Terrence. Terrence. In total, over 150 pupils were engaged with the horseplay project, with the play fittingly performed at Palace House Muse. Education through drama is uh, is always a brilliant way for, for young people to learn um, about history. That's what this project is about and I think it seems to be working and they're really encouraged by uh, interested in the, uh, in the stable life of these, uh, these ex-stable lads and um, that's always what we, what we aim to, to do as a theatre company and that's why this project, uh, why we're so excited about this project. The experience I think because that's, that's what the children are going to take away with them, the experience of being part of a big collective group where someone will go, what do you think? What do you think? And would you like to do it like that? And would you like to do that? And there's no wrong way, but maybe you might try that way. It's, if you've not had that experience, it's just like, wow. I think it's fantastic. The children see themselves as being famous in that they've been part of something big, which I think is the legacy, the fact that they are going to be able to see a DVD of the whole performance, but it's something that they'll remember and that's obviously really important in learning, that we make it memorable and fun and they've gained so much from it. It's something that we will celebrate for a long time because we will have um, the memories and the materials and the information that we've gained from it. We will be able to create displays about it and the children will have that long, that memory of what they did which I think will live with them for a long, long while. Um, but I think and the, the material will then be available in Newmarket for um, anybody to enjoy really. So it's a legacy beyond the school.